Our Senators reporter Brent Wallace joins me now. And Brent, no doubt, a lot of Senators fans will be watching the draft lottery tonight, perhaps very nervously, hoping that their team doesn't, in fact, get that top pick only to hand it off to the Colorado Avalanche. You're around this team every day. Is this still a focal point within the organization? It is and it isn't, Kara. I mean, for a year now, they've known that this pick is likely going to end up where it is. They were hoping it wasn't going to be first overall. But the fact is, the Ottawa Senators knew they were going to struggle going into this year. They knew they were going to be in a rebuild. So for the most part, this organization has tried to move on. But this is a team that from January 1st on was sitting in last place in the NHL. They didn't win four games in a row all season. They know that this was going to be a long thing down the stretch. They were hoping just briefly to try and get out of last place and get into 30th. So the odds for Colorado taking the first overall pick weren't going to be in as high as they are at 18.5%. But of course, as you know, Kara, in, in Ottawa, Everything that could go wrong right now seems to go wrong for the Senators. It certainly has this calendar year. Um, so that's inside the room. What about the yeah. fan base, though? Have they moved uh, on, or does this have the potential to be yet another bad moment for the Senators fan base? It's taking a lot longer for the Sens fans to move on. You see social media and the airwaves of talk radio lit up right now with all the fans discussing about how, how could Ottawa do this? How could they not have Matt Duchesne and not have this pick in this year's draft? But the reality is this is what's happened. It's now time. It's been a year, people. It's time to move on. They've got Brady Kachuk who was in fourth overall last year. He's been very good for them. 22 goals, 46 points. He looks very good. And I'm not sure that if you did this again, if Pierre Dorian would pass up taking Brady Kachuk overtaking the first overall pick. It's dicey, but I think they're really happy with what they were able to pick. And of course, as they go to this draft tonight, they'll watch, but they won't really watch. Maybe out of the corner of their aisle, they'll take a quick peek to see how it goes. There are certainly a lot of bright spots coming in the future for the Senators. It's tough not to focus on the fact that they finished with 29 wins, which is their worst season in 23 years. They likely want to turn that page as quickly as possible. 